Today I'll show you how we're going to recreate the thumbnail image using AI of this super successful YouTube video that received over 470 million views. The creators called Mr. Beast, one of the most successful YouTube creators on the planet, so you know that his YouTube thumbnails are tested and they work. And let me show you the version that I created with a click and just one phrase. Take a look. So we have the boat, but it's not identical. The main essence of the image is the same. We have the two boats and I spe specifically wanted to change the dollars into euros. And that's what the AI has done. I have not used Photoshop. I have not paid any designer for this. This is all done with AI and I'll show you exactly how. Okay, so we are using the AI media machine from BlueFX, which we created, and you can access it in the link below. So now let's get started and let me show you the steps. They are super simple. We're going to go after Mr. Beast the style thumbnails. So open his channel up. I'm going to need this thumbnail. So let's open up the video. I, I need to get some th how the thumbnail from it. So I'm going to type in YouTube thumbnail link. And that's going to give me a tool called YouTube Thumbnail Grabber, whatever. There are many like this. I'm going to just paste in the URL of the video, of the YouTube video. I'm going to click on Get Thumbnail Image. I'm going to right click, save this as an image. And I'm going to just click it and add it to my desktop. And now let's open up our AI media machine. And we're going to click to the thumbnail machine in it. So this is the AI media machine that we had BlueFX created and you can get access to it in the link below. But I'm not going to create a thumbnail from scratch. I'm going to use the feature called recreate. OK, now I'm going to upload the image that we've just downloaded. So I'm going to upload the thumbnail that I have on my desktop like this and here we have the option to make a couple of modifications because obviously I'm not just copy pasting his thumbnail onto my video I want this thumbnail but with a couple of changes so first off my goal is to put my face on it so the guy needs to be bald otherwise my face will be there but it will have hair and that's not on brand so the guy is bald. I just type it like this. You say it as it is. No complicated prompting and prompt engineering is needed here. Next, I have one dollar and then one billion dollars. But you know what? Let's say I'm making this for the European market. So I could say change the dollar into euro as simple as that i would not change really that much if this is a real video that i'm making i wouldn't change that much because they already have a pattern that works and if you're looking at the youtube creator at this level they do multiple a b split tests to make sure that their thumbnail is really good so i'm gonna change only as much as necessary we're gonna do this step and after that i'm gonna put my face onto the thumbnail. So let's click on recreate image and just wait a couple of seconds. Okay, so we have a new bald guy. We, we have the same good looking cool background. And as you can see, the euro has changed into, I mean, the dollar has changed into euro on both parts. So now I'm gonna go to the face swap tab. Now in this tab, I'm gonna upload my own face first. So source face. This is the face. This is your face, right? So I'm going to add my face like this. And then we have a target image. This is the new image that we have created where you want to put your face on. So I have here the download. Let's see uh, this one. I made a couple of versions, by the way. So let's open this one up. And now it looks good. And let's click on generate face swap. <laughs> it added me uh, on the... 
<laughs> it added me on the image, which is, I would say, there are, is, is some resemblance in uh, the way I look like the nose, the eyes. Like, I think uh, that's, that I'd say is close enough for somebody who doesn't know me. So my mother wouldn't say that this is me, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I think now, jokes aside, I think this is already good enough. But you, what you can do is create a couple of different source faces because there are a couple of things here. Like his head, the shape of his head is probably a little bit different from mine or not that much. I don't know. It's very hard to analyze yourself. <laughs> I'm not in a Freudian session here. I'm creating a tutorial video for you guys. So uh, let's move on. Now, what you can do at this point is just download the image and you have your own thumbnail right here. Now, all you got to do uh, at this point is to just upload this new thumbnail and you're going to have much more clicks to your videos. Now, we have in integrated a lot of other tools here, including um, an AI cinematographer that creates from images, videos, lifelike videos like this. We have a talking avatar tool that will, will, will actually say words and talk, whatever you tell them, it's gonna be your own virtual actor and so on. There are many, many tools. I don't have the time on this tutorial video to show you all of them. But if you click on the link below this, below this video, you'll find a page that explains all the tools that we include in the AI media machine. Okay, so with that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.